Oh, please don't let this cop pull me over. Hey guys, welcome back to JR14. Here I am with another video today and definitely this one is a special treat. As you guys have seen in one of my previous videos where I drove a 911 GT3 around a racetrack, you know Porsches is near and dear to my heart and this is no exception. A 1995 Porsche 911 Carrera 4. And what does the 4 stand for? This means back in 95 these were all wheel drive. Six speed manual and the car literally is timeless. 1995 this thing came out and now back in 2020 it still still is perfect it still looks great proportionate wise it still looks good it's not like all the bmws on the road and all this other stuff you know i'm not hating on you it's just the truth you don't see these every day and you don't see these in really i mean you do see them in good condition but the, for the fact that this one has 111,000 miles with i believe two or three owners previously and they've drove the car they drove the car and they've enjoyed it for what they enjoyed it for but now it's my boy joe who actually owns the car now and if you don't know joe i was supposed to review a lot of his other cars before but the time never just never worked out which is why i'm feeling this when it's, the sun's going down but he's had an infinity g37 on full bolt-ons before and on bags and with these like beautiful beautiful wheels then he sold that and he got into the bmw thing the two e46s one right after the g uh the g and then one after he also bought an m6 and then bought an m3 at the same time and now he's moving on to this so guys it's been a while since i've done this this is going to be a full review of the 1995 porsche 911 c4 or carrera 4. so without further ado let's talk about the exterior and then we're going to go for a drive so let's hit through let's go to it right now so the cool thing about porsche 911 specifically is that literally it's the stigma that they all look the same but for very good reason now for years the 911 has always been called the purest car but a lot of other people who usually the haters of 911s usually say oh the engine's put in the wrong place so the balance is all thrown off so years after years of years and years of development with the 911 to 2020 which is the 992 and that's even still in the back so Porsche is not changing up the recipe at all for very good reason so these cars made, I believe it was a 3.6 liter naturally aspirated flat six that made 270 horsepower. Now today's standards, that's not a lot. My Volkswagen GT, as you guys know, came stock with 220 horsepower from a four cylinder turbo. But, and that number may not seem great, but what you guys have to understand is that literally for something that's naturally aspirated, you have response, you have something that doesn't have lag. So there's nothing to worry about when it comes to bringing on power it's just the motor and the really good thing about this and the actual crazy thing well not really crazy but it's like the this is the like the last of its kind these are what the purists really like is because this is the last air cool air cool generation out which is this is this chassis is called the 993 so the 993 was air cooled and what does that mean so pretty much normally like my car or after this generation which was the 996 the 996 as well as most cars today use antifreeze or some type of form of coolant in the block there are coolant jackets where coolant goes in to cool the cylinders down now you don't have to worry about that with this so you didn't have to worry about coolant leaks coolant lines or anything like that um, i believe these did have oil coolers though and they sit underneath the driver's side or the passenger side so one of those things I actually had, like when I was like like eight years old, I had a looking car and underneath on the bottom, they have these little gills. There's actually grills underneath. You can't see them from here, but they're there. And on the, I believe it's the driver's side, there's a fan in there and that's actually to, it's like a radiator for, the, for cooling of the oil. And that's all it was for. And the motor in the back, I'm actually gonna talk a little bit about that. And I'm mean, gonna see the big fan that actually draws power, just draws air the faster you go, the faster that belt spins and that fan spins to pull to pull air into the into the engine. Also, what it does is once it gets once it hits the cylinder heads, I can't show you that right now, considering the fact I have to take the motor apart to show to make motor apart to show you. But there's these gills, kind of like what you see, like for instance, on a Dodge Demon with the the fins on differentials on performance cars. On the cylinder heads of this car, you see these fins, 
And that's where the air passes through to keep everything cool. Now, why is why are these not favored today? Not the car, but why is air cooled really not available today? It's because of power. With more demand for power, every model year getting higher and higher, obviously the major aspect is performance. People want more performance out of these cars every generation. If you don't believe me, look at any generation of any car, they always increased in power and torque. When you have more power and torque, you create more heat. And then that's where this is a limiting factor. But that doesn't mean these are fun to drive. These are very fun to drive. And I'm actually, I know a little bit about the car, but the one that really knows a lot about the car is the owner and I have him here today. So Joe, if you don't mind, please step in, sir. And and please, like, this this is your baby. What's going on, sir? All right. <laughs> so, so why this? Why well for you, what was it what was it that made you want to pull the trigger and do it? I've wanted one of these for a long time. Mm -hmm. You know, I've been looking at these, you know, back in the day. Uh, first time seeing them, really like the 930s and even the 964, like I, you know, the iconic movie Bad Boys. Yeah. When Martin drives the car in the airport, you know, the 964 Turbo. Yeah. Everybody wanted one back then. Mm -hmm. But, you know, I was too young at the time. I didn't, you know, I, I, didn't, I wasn't even driving yet. Yeah. But over time, it was just like, I always wanted one of these. I've been a huge fan of German cars, always been a JDM guy. And uh, finally crossed over to BMW been a huge M guy advocate mm. you know and then I just I'm at that age where I was like I, I, got, I gotta pull the trigger I gotta right. pull the trigger and actually get one and experience why everybody loves these cars so much unfortunately right. I caught it at you know after the boom you know before the boom these cars were not you know they weren't so expensive but after the boom it's like now it's like hard to get your hands on desire well it's not hard but just the price range is like really up there you know I love the car love it how long have you had it so far uh, a couple of weeks. Wow. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Literally, like talk about an exclusive. I get, yeah. I get first dibs. That's literally, awesome. literally, probably like two weeks. Wow. But I've been driving the car every day, like every day, because the car is so enjoyable. Right. And like I said, I've come from a BMW background. Um, I had two E46 M3s, which are iconic cars. Hmm. Um, as I mentioned to you before, you still see those in the, Nür the Nurburgring. You know, they're still tearing up those tracks. Right. And it's like driving this and compared to the e46 m3 mm -hmm. is like night and day this is just right uh porsche engineering is just amazing i just wish i got into it sooner right he's so basically he wants me to drive it and obviously we are going to be doing a drive with this car for you guys he's he's convinced that he's been trying to get me into bmws yeah. forever yeah. and obviously that hasn't happened I, I went a different route with volkswagen but that's not to say volkswagen's a bad company and that's not to say bmw's a bad company because they're not they're both fantastic companies both have quirks but they're both really good cars. They're both really good manufacturers. But when it comes to Porsche, it's it's another level. And literally driving that car, I've driven I've driven M's on a track before. I've driven M's um, in a spirited manner before. I've done it. I've done it before. But nothing feels like what I drove, which is a GT3. Now to be fair, that's why I want to drive this because this is the I wouldn't say the bottom of the barrel, but when it comes to like the Carrera, then the Carrera Four, then the Turbo. So then. Oh no, the Targa, the Targa, Targa. the Targa. Forgot about that. That's yeah. Targa top. The, 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 the cabs, you know, the and the cabriolets, right? And then they had the turbos. And the turbo in this generation made 400 horsepower, which in the 90s was insane. Because the only company that was, I believe, only doing that in the 90s was Ferrari. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. And nobody really wanted to. Nobody was diving into the turbo route. Right. And they today, were doing it in the early 80s. Exactly. Because so. today you see turbos all the time. Any every car today has a turbo on it, and it's for fuel efficiency. But turbo, but but you know, even with the development of this car, as well as like another car that's near and dear to my heart with Porsche 959, and that car literally set the bar for technology in a yeah. huge way, yeah. and this is no exception. You saw, you heard Joe why he got it. I talked a little bit about the car. I'm really happy about it. But you know, it, you know, it's time to do. Where them keys at, man? Where them <laughs> keys at? Oh, man. Where them keys at? Ooh, Listen, with the Porsche emblem on it, too. I want the fans to understand that this man will be trying to buy an air-cooled Porsche oh, after driving this car. Oh, Lord. I, I, Listen, I love the GT3. I love the GT2s. I love all the Porsches, oh, especially the 911s. Amazing, amazing pieces of machines. I've I've driven I've driven and rode in the GT3. I know how those cars are. Those, the performance is top-notch. Right. But there's something about these air cooled. The power is not there, but it's just, it's, it's just a, I don't even, I can't even explain it. It's just a <laughs> unique drive. It's just a unique drive. You know, just, just, just it being attached to the road, just the, right. 
I, it's like I can't even put into words how it feels. You just have to drive one to understand how these air cooled Porsches feel. And it's just a driver's car. And a lot of people, I feel like, why these cars are you know going up in value, even the E46 and stuff like that. And I keep using it as a reference, I'm sorry. But that was his baby. He yeah. liked the 46s. But it's just, you know, a lot of people want that analog feeling. Right. You know, a lot of these new cars, it's all digital. I mean, not digital, but it's all electronic. Mm -hmm. um, you know, it's all assisted. You have launch control. You have stability. Control, all, everything you can list. And, it, you know, the car brings it, you know, the truth performance out on its own. And with these older cars, you know, people just want to be able to really just, just, it's just your driver, the car, and the road. That's it. That's and let it. the driver bring out the full potential of the car. That's it. Uh, do you have plans for it? Uh, yes, I do. Um, you know, I, you know, all my cars are modified. Right. I just, you, you know, go, I thought I, I was crazy. You look, go a little nuts. Before I even get into it, I know the purists are probably gonna crucify me if they find out that I'm modding this car. But I'm modding this car. I just, I'm not one of those types to just have a car sitting in the garage. Mm. You know, just watching the value go. You know, or just watching it appreciate and just see where my, my money goes. Like I can't do that. I have right. to drive the car. That's why I've been driving it every day. I plan on modding it. I'm gonna do something real unique, um, oh something boy. really cool. Uh, I don't want to say it yet. I just, you know, just stay, stay tuned. There you go. You know, Jay's gonna uh, check it out again when it's done. Yes. But uh, I'm gonna really, really, and it's not gonna be nothing sh like you know, stanced out, nothing show, just straight performance oriented, and it's gonna be really fun, really, really fun. Trust me. Okay. I'm, I'm excited to see that, and and actually. Joe's actually allowed me to follow this build process to so some stuff that he's gonna do. So some things that he's gonna change and modify on it, I'm actually gonna be behind the scenes a little bit watching these processes get done or some of the processes get done. So if you do really like this, if you like the 993, if this is something that spikes interest, make sure that you subscribe right now to JR14, give the video a thumbs up so that this way when more videos of this come out, when he's ready to modify it, then you know you get those notifications and you're ready, boom, then you now you're watching the next video. So make sure you do that. Oh yeah. Wow. All right guys, we are in here. We are in the 993. Wow. Did you guys hear that? Hang on. Let's where's the door handle so I don't Okay. Listen to that. Oh, that's solid. <laughs> but well, first let's start the car up. Let's Ah, and it's not on this side. So Porsches have a pedigree for Le Mans and for their racers to drive faster, or to get in the car faster because you had to run to the car previously. And when you had to run to the car, you had to um, get a run in the car so it would be easy for them to push the clutch in and start the car on the driver's side, on the, the left side of the car, the left side of the steering column rather than the right side. So all Porsches, even to this day, are like that. Um, and it definitely threw me off. I didn't think it was going to throw me off, but it definitely did throw me off. You should be fine. Yeah, that's just parking brake. Once you take down the parking brake, that comes off. Wow. Okay. So he was. Just, I had to call him back here for a moment because the controls are a little different in this car. Wow. Everything's so analog, and it's weird. The pull, the pedals are very close together. That's brake. Yeah, because this is clutch, and the clutch normally is like this, but now in this car it's like this. So, oh wow, that goes to the floor. Okay, cool. This is gonna be fun. Now, if I'm rusty, don't get mad. Come on, come on, come on. There we go, there we go. Wow, oh, that's easy. Oh, that's butter. Oh, that's amazing, okay. So, here we are in 993, and it is so different. It, the, the pedal is going to give me a little bit to get used to because I'm not used to it being this way. So first things first, let's talk about how easy it is to drive. It actually is pretty simple. Yeah, it's pretty simple to drive. So the other thing about... Um, the good thing about these 3.6 the 3.6 liters is that they're extremely responsive when I heard and they have a definitely a unique sound which I'll get on in a little bit here in a minute. Oh, this is nice. Woo! So, we 
where are the windows okay so the window switches i don't i this is cool crazy like hopefully it's not too oh here they are they're both together which is weird i mean they are normally but instead of it being like you know on, on the console here it's actually like it's actually like on the door on the side which is kind of cool this is definitely a treat i'm really excited about this this is this is great because this car feels Wow. Now this car's not, it's not fast, right? It's not meant to be, it's not meant to be like fast or anything like that. I'm gonna make a turn right here actually. And, but I can tell you right now, this thing feels so analog. It's incredible. The gears are extremely long, you know, in, in 95, you know, it wasn't, you know, like they had like really tall shifters. It's a tall shifter and it, the throws are very long. I'm speechless how good this thing actually really is. I'm excited because I really, really like, I love, no, I don't like, I love 911s. I really, really do. And this is definitely no exception. Oh, please don't let this cop pull me over. Oh, thank God. Oh, cool. Well, since they're gone, I want to do a little rip in the Porsche, so we're gonna, we're gonna wind it out, right? Wow! Oh my God! Woo! Okay, I wasn't expecting it to be that. I mean, I was, but it was just like for 1995, right? The cornering is good too, so this had hydraulic steering. If you guys don't remember, Porsche just recently switched to electric steering. And during that, and during that process, it was uh, a lot of people didn't like the electric power steering, but this feels really good and analog and, oh man, all right. And it's really easy to drive, like I got in it, And it's easy to see out of too, right? So like, I, I, visibility is great. I can look everywhere around me and I see everything. Like, it's not, it's a real greenhouse, right? Like that's, that's really what like, this car really is. It's a greenhouse. 911s are always like that though, but after the years, 911s have gotten heavier and bigger and, and you know, and, but they've gotten faster though. For 1995, this feels so good. And the car's solid. Like, you don't hear, like, like this is what, 20, 95, 2005, 2005, 2000. This is a 25-year-old car. And you know what? There's not a single rattle in this interior. Not a single rattle. And I like the shifter. I mean, it's the, lo the throws are long, but it's 1995. You come on, expect that. But, um, like, I've, I've been driving a car for a few minutes now, and it's already second nature. It's already second nature to me like this interior i want to talk about the interior for a second it's so driver focused like the five cl uh, cluster the five gauge clusters you have your tack right in the middle you have your odometer you have your clock um you have your speedometer you have your tack you have your oil pressure and water temperature you have your gas you have your fuel and you have um you have your clock on the on the right hand side everything about this car is so driver focused the radio's over here, the climate control's over here, and it's just a nice, really short, flat dashboard, right? And I'm driving through a neighborhood right now. It's quiet, the suspension feels good. It's solid, there's no rattles. I have rattles in my car and it's 2017. This car doesn't have rattles and it's 25 years old. This the, takes the bumps like a champ. Like this is really, really good and solid for what it really is. I'm just happy that I had this experience in driving this car. The gear shift is second nature. It's like a little dog leg, upside down dog leg. All the controls are very easy. At 50 miles an hour, the wing in the back comes up on its own and you can even retract it up and down manually if you wanted to. Um, like I'm hitting these bumps like crazy and literally kids are like in the neighborhood like, oh my God, a Porsche. Nobody sees these anymore. You don't, you don't, you don't see 993s like that. 
And the good thing about the pedal placement is that heel and toe is extremely easy too, which I really like. So when you're on a track and you wanna, and you really wanna get on it or you really wanna try to enjoy it to some extent you can. Like I really wanna see the handling in this. Okay, there we go to sharp corner, right? And this is all wheel drive. Oh my God, this is good. Oh man. Since it's all wheel drive though, it has a terrible turning radius. Listen to that. Oh, the Dell, oh, the rev match. The med, the rev matches. Woo! Go around this corner to a green light, yes. Brakes. At the time, four piston brakes in 95. You can't beat it. You definitely can't beat it. I, I'm overwhelmed on how good this car actually really is i don't know i really don't know what to say like i'm i'm very very happy with and then it's so analog that's what i love about it it's so simple there's no electronics trying to help you figure it out it's just it's just all together you hear that that's the fan oh no that's, i think that's the actual ac yeah that's the ac but like you hear everything you hear the ac unit you feel the gear changes the clutch pedals like night and day now I never thought I would ever see the day where I experience a classic 911. Only the new ones, but nothing like classic like this. This is like legendary. Joe was right. So the first thing Joe told me, he's like, you sure you wanna ride, drive this? I was like, why wouldn't I wanna drive it? He told me, he's just like, well, you're gonna end up wanting to buy one. And I wanna buy one now. Should change a lot, but they didn't change a lot. If that makes any sense, like there's some things that they changed and there's some things that they didn't change. I don't know, man. I oh my god, this is just like hitting. Like obviously, unfortunately, I have to hit a little bit of bumps, but it's so smooth. The power delivery, is smooth and great and true. The car is just raw, and it, it's not raw like it makes a thousand horsepower and it's raw. No, it's. It's so mechanically based that it, that it's, and it has that perfect balance. I love cars like this. Like I, I, I'm the guy that likes the E36 M3s for that reason. But in my opinion, I mean, I was only able to drive it a little bit, but I like this a little, I like this more. And everything's just so simple. It's, and, and you know what? You're driving something classic. This is timeless. It's 25 years old. 25 year old car and it's timeless and this heavy steering that's just it's just the and the fact this car has 111,000 miles and it's still solid and it still performs is it is it is it fast like my GTI no would my GTI destroy this yes but that's not the purpose of this car. The purpose of this car is to have something that is still somewhat of a GT Cruiser, still something that's still sports car oriented, right? And that is exactly what this car is. I'm just gonna, I just wanna rip it one more time. Just one more time. Second gear. So, you feel the vibrations from the shifter, like it's just all there. This makes me, this this really makes me want to get a Porsche even more. It does. Because there's no, there's not a lot of cars that, there's no car that feels like this. And I don't have to put it on a racetrack to figure that out and give you guys a review on it. Like these are definitely still worth definitely the money. If you want something that's analog, easy to fix, easy to work on, still mechanically they are very reliable this is this is it this is amazing 
Listen to that. You feel that response? That's third gear at 2,000 RPM. Look at that. It's so touchy. I love that. I, the cars don't feel like that anymore. I'm going to roll the window down. You may hear a little bit of wind, but I want to give you one, one, more, one more rip. So easy to drive. Do a little rip. Oh, this thing, oh, this thing is, this thing is amazing. Let's hit it. Oh, nice. Yes. Get a little bit of corners. I'm done with my review, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I didn't touch on all the details, but you know what? The driving aspect of this thing is where it's at. And I appreciate every single one of you guys to give me this point so I can review cars like this because... Oh, this is good. All right, just finished driving. Wow. Um... Ooh. <laughs> uh, Told you. Yeah. Told you. That, wow. 95. Can I have my keys back? No. Oh, oh. <laughs> all right. No, I, don't, I I'm gonna, I wanna hold on to these. You want the GTI? You want 500 wheel horsepower? You, Listen, I, hey. I mean, you can take it. We, I'm a car guy. I'll I, drive anything. I enjoy anything. Hey, I you mean, know, you know. If it's well built, if it's, your car is very well built. It is. I'll let, you know. It won't break. <laughs> today. So, <laughs> hey, <trade> for, <laughs> I can't promise tomorrow. Yeah, but hey, that's the it comes with the game. That's comes with the game. So. Exactly. Um, I hope that you did love this uh, quick review. I mean, it's not quick. We definitely went into a lot, but um, wow, what an experience! And I want one now. And oh boy, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Trust me, fans at home, drive oh, one. Man. You're gonna feel the same exact way. You're gonna be like, oh, it's literally a go kart. On the streets, it's not how it's it supposed doesn't to make go. sense. It's for not a car in '95. <laughs> it doesn't make sense why it feels this way. Yeah, you know? it's it's actually really really crazy. Uh, but yeah, I mean, guys, like again, he's going to be modifying it. I'm going to be included on some of the the projects that he's doing as far as filming them and like you know vlog type. I'm not the cinematic. Shout out to Roscoe Sparks. That's your job. Yes, the, my the, job is just to do the vlog and stuff for, on the behind the scenes stuff, which is what I'm going to do. So if you guys like that type of stuff, make sure you, again give the video a thumbs up. And this is going to conclude this video. But I don't know about you guys, but if you guys did enjoy this video, the, the 1995 Porsche. Oh, my God. I couldn't remember it. Okay. <laughs> well, guys, I don't know about you, but I enjoyed it. But if you guys did enjoy this video, the review of the 1995 Porsche 911 993 C4, I need you guys to give this video a thumbs up. Also, follow my boy, uh, Joe, here. Yes. Sir. Follow Scrape right yes. here. That's his car crew. If, you don't, if you're in New York and you don't know about Scrape, Wow, yeah, I've been to plenty yeah. of shows and, that, and that, that they shut it down every time. Yeah. And on the back of his shirt is his Instagram, so boom, right here. So that's his Instagram right there. So make sure you give him a follow. And if you guys, oh, I hope you want to watch my videos, but if you don't, you just want to follow his build and get stuff in real time, he posts yeah. like crazy. You can so. see the wide body M6 too. It's, everything is on there. Oh yeah. Question, you know, he does have a wide, a wide body M6 for sale. Yeah. for sale. It's, it's for sale. It's actually really cool. I've seen it. Um, it's getting some last minute touches right now, but I'm rambling. But guys, I hope that you did enjoy this video. But you guys always remember when it comes down to driving my dream car's heritage, you guys always remember that cars are a lifestyle.